There is always the danger of disunity. Crumbs from Jarad. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourself. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. Sometimes we think the danger of disunity is of groups that are breaking apart. No. The danger of disunity is even and especially for groups that are working for a fixed purpose, that have their goals very clear, and yet there is disunity. Why? Because the danger of disunity is for anybody and can happen anywhere. And that's why St. Paul speaks here to the Philippine church and telling them, be careful about disunity. And he suggests two things to avoid. The first is selfishness. Selfishness when you're working for a fixed purpose. The danger is I want to do it my way. I have my plans. I have my style of doing it. Don't interfere. And if somebody interferes, you get annoyed. So keeping selfishness out. The second is pride. I have done it. Not the group. I did it. And I want my name to be mentioned first. So selfishness and pride. So what do we need to do? Paul mentions a few tips on how to work towards unity. So push ourselves out and put others first. Push. P-U-S-H. P is the purpose of Christ and that is love. Making love the center of our lives. Making my life an act of love. That should be our all-time purpose. U. Unity. When I say unity, it is not just avoiding disunity, but working for unity, trying to see what all we can do together. Even if I can do it separately, can I work with a team? S. Selflessness. Each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. Now what can we do to help towards selflessness? One or two suggestions. One is seek first to understand. Before trying to see things from my point of view, let me try to understand the other person's point of view. And second is, what can I do to help another person? Don't focus on myself, but can I focus on other people? Selfless, less of me, more of others. And finally, St. Paul mentions H, humility. In humility, count others better than yourself. How can we have a life of humility? One simple way is letting people know the mistake and telling them and apologizing for the mistakes you have done. So, not you know trying to shy away, but being open and letting people know, yes, I have made a mistake, I'm sorry. So whenever you have made a mistake, say it. My dear friends, and now a minute meditation for you. While often it seems easier to work on a project on your own, do you normally like working as a team or as an individual? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.